I received some paints today and I thought I would review them. They are Paul Rubens acrylic paints and you get a set of 24 and they're great colors. Like more than you even need to get started but what I like about it is a lot of times when you get the sets you have to get like the yellow ochre or the raw umber like things like those separate like they don't always come in the sets so I really like that they include those and it includes Payne's gray which is awesome and this looks like it could be these two here look like they could be favorites <laughs> so I have no idea what they are like so I thought I would test them out So this is going to be pretty boring because it is titanium white. So you're not going to be able to see too much. As far as I can tell by putting the swatch out, they feel pretty smooth. I'm using acrylic paper. Um, and have patience because I need to clean my brush in between. So this is a, an acrylic paper pad and this is just um, a Dina Wakely paintbrush. Okay, so lemon yellow. The paint squeezes out easily like it's not too thick. Some tubes like you have to really it's almost like the paint is drying up in the tube already. But I don't know, these are gliding on very easily. This is yellow mid. And I'm putting very little I could have put even less. My paintbrush is a bit wet on that one. But there's still a fair amount of paint on there. I'll try to get more on there. Um, when I'm cleaning my brush. i try to get my brush a little more dry. Deep yellow. Looks totally different than what's on the tube. This one does. You can tell. So don't judge by the outside. Do not judge it by its packaging. It's a good yellow. I'm going to try and paint a picture, or at least start a picture with it today. I haven't figured out what it is I want to paint. Yellow ochre. Because, I mean, you can swatch anything out and it's not the same as actually painting with it. You can tell I've already been painting, not with these paints, but I'm working on a large painting. I mean, just swatching them out, they seem like nice paints. I've only painted, um, like when I do actual painting, I usually just use Liquitex Basics. And I had a friend ask me, like I showed her a painting I was working on. And she paints, and she's good. And... Um, she asked me what paints I use, and I said Liquitex Basics, and she's like, no. <laughs> she's like, please tell me you're using a professional paint. And I was like, no. <laughs> so I bought some, but I haven't used them yet. Now, these 
It doesn't say anything on the package, like if they're student grade, professional grade. Doesn't say anything. So, I don't know. But look how much paint is still left on my paintbrush. So the little bit I'm squeezing out is still too much. So it seems like they'll go a long way. Vermilion. No, ooh, this one's like, I'm going to say falling out of its tube. <laughs> it's squished there. That's probably why. So far, I'm liking the colors. I can see my brush strokes in that one, but this is textured paper as well. So I'm probably just seeing the texture. Because I know this one, I can tell that it's the texture of the paper I'm seeing. This one, I'm not sure if it's the texture or my brush strokes. I forgot some colors, I think. Nope. A million. Oh, I skipped one. I almost goofed. So I have scarlet. I'm going to try to put it even less. Like, I'm not even squeezing the tube. I'm just dabbing the tip. Ooh, I like that. I still have lots of paint. I really like that red. I find red a difficult color to like get a good one. But I really like that one. Like I would never paint a room in my house red because it is so hard to get the right red. Crimson red. I can already tell that's too much. That's pretty too. Very nice. I'm getting excited. <laughs> Next color is magenta, and I tend to use magenta a lot, like in art journaling, in um, painting. Well, it's usually usually quinacridone magenta. This one just says magenta, so I think this one's a lot more purple. That's very close to the same. So pretty. We have green night. This too is squished too, so the paint might fall. It might be ready to come out. This one feels, again, maybe my brush isn't dry enough. This one feels a little more translucent. And we have sap green.
But I mean, starting out with any new paint, I suggest just buying small ones. And these aren't even super small. I mean, this is bigger than some of the super small ones you get. It's 20 milliliters. I think a lot, you probably, a lot of starter ones are maybe 10. I could be wrong. I'm not going to wet my paintbrush this time. So I'm not sure how to say this. I'm not sure if it's Viridian. But you can see the tube. It's a pretty green. Cyanine green. Very similar to this one, I find. Like they almost look exactly the same to me. Oh, very close. Very close. This one looks deeper. Cerulean blue. I'm probably saying it wrong. <laughs> I think this one's going to be pretty. Oh, it's lighter than I thought. That was going to be more of a teal. See, again, don't go by the packaging. Okay, it's not going to be one of my favorites. <laughs> not mixed with the green, it probably would. Okay, cobalt blue. I'm not a huge um, blue fan, really. Like, I love green blues, like teal and stuff like that, but as in straight blue, it's not a go-to for me. I do love navy, though. Like a really dark, deep blue I like. Oh, I like, I'm liking that one more as it dries. looking so different as it dries. Now it's it still doesn't look like it's packaging, but fallow blue. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Very nice. I'm glad I swatched these out because they're not all like their tubes. Oh, I just did the same one twice. <laughs> so ultramarine blue. That's a little bit of fallow. <laughs> Deep purple. We all know how I feel about purple. <laughs> I 
It looks good though for a purple. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush because I'm going into browns. So we have burnt sienna. Burnt Umber. It's a good brown. Raw Umber. Now Payne's Gray, which is usually a favorite, especially when gel printing. Oh, so nice. Oh, yeah. This is a good Payne's Gray. In my, um, golden paints, I find my paints gray is way too blue, like light, but it's a fluid, so maybe that's why. That's a good one. I like that. Because like, a lot of people say they'll use paints gray instead of black, but my golden fluid paint, I would not be able to use it as a black. And this is Lamp Black. I find that name strange. <laughs> Part of Mars Black, Ivory Black. Um, can't remember the other one. Never heard of Lamp Black though. It's a good black. Okay, so as far as colors go, I like it. Hi everybody. I thought I would just come on and add in at the end of this swatch video my thoughts and opinions on the paint. I've already done two paintings with the paints and I was going to wait until I had the videos for those edited to share my thoughts on the paints. But they're having, Paul Rubens are having a sale on the paints. So I wanted to get this video out to you so you could watch it, see the colors, see what it can do. And if you wanted to buy them, you could grab that discount that they're offering for you guys before it was over. So I will get to editing these videos if you're interested in seeing the paint process. But for now, I'll give you my thoughts. So if you want to grab those paints, you can, because I mean, they're already an amazing price. Uh, $21.98 for 24 paint colors. That's US dollars though, not Canadian. So, I mean, that's less than a dollar or two. That's pretty amazing. And they're beautiful colors. And with the discount code that they are offering you, you will get them for $10.99. So, I mean, that's worth a try right there. <laughs> So anyway, quick recap, these are the colors, 
there's 24. You get a great variety and the colors are beautiful and vibrant. Like I have difficulties with red and these are gorgeous. The magenta is beautiful. The blues are beautiful. The only thing I find these two greens, I mean, there could have been a different one because I, I find these two are really close. But other than that, they're beautiful greens. Um, you got your white and black like you usually do with your basic sets. But what I find amazing and that makes me feel like this is a fabulous set is you get yellow ochre. Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Raw Umber, and Payne's Gray. That, in a set, it, personally, I've had a hard time finding those colors. Usually, if I wanted to buy a set of paints, I had to buy this separately, if I could find it. And Payne's Gray, I find, it's like, this is me going to Michael's and trying to buy a paint set so I can you know, try them out. And with some of them, I didn't even see a Payne's Gray. So I think this is a great group of colors for a set of paints. And for the price, like, honestly, it blows me away. So these are the paintings that I did. I did this one first. And I did, I wanted to try something, I've always wanted to try a painting like this where it's just like a table with some items on it. So I did the whole background red first. Instead of using white gesso, I did a red paint and I used the red from here. And because I like the way the red comes through, like, like you purposely don't paint all the way up around it because well I didn't anyways because I wanted some of that red coming through and like here on this and a little bit around the cactus I just I like that look the only thing I found with using red for the background was it was very hard to cover with some of the colors and that was white the red kept seeping through. So this took many layers and then painting a different color and then going over it again with white. And then I still didn't do a true white after. And this is white, but I added shading. So that's not anything seeping through that was purposely done. So for some reason, this white was easier. It was easier to cover here than it was here. Maybe there was a bit, bit more red paint there. I don't know. Um, like the background, I was originally going to do turquoise. I mixed the paint using these and I covered the red because I was going to have, like I said, a turquoise background after, but the red kept seeping through. So then I threw on, it was either cerulean blue or thalio blue or thalo and I put that on top and then I was going to go over it again with a turquoise but I ended up liking this <laughs> so I just left it and you can still see some of the red coming through but I like how it looks like it has that worn paint distressed color to me and I really like it so my only complaint was that the red was hard to cover and that's kind of my fault and <laughs> not the paints so but otherwise like I love how it turned out and I will hang this on my wall then I did this one because I wanted to do another painting where I didn't use red as my base layer so this one I just covered with white gesso and went and painted it and everything just went very easily and smoothly. So the only thing I found were some colors seemed a bit more translucent than others. 
As for the paints themselves, um, they're, I don't have technical terms <laughs> to use or anything like that. I'm just giving you my thoughts and opinions on them. This is just coming from me as a personal opinion. I didn't go to art school. I don't have that knowledge on art and paints. So this is just me with my thoughts and feelings on them being just some girl who likes to paint and create art. I found them really nice. They are, they're not thick and they're not thin. They're that medium consistency and it's really nice. Like, uh, <laughs> they just, they go on so smooth. They're so easy to use in that way. Um, if I wanted to thin them out even more, I just added a little bit of retarder to get like a little bit of a glaze look. So I did that a little bit like for the highlights. Um, yeah, like they're, they go on really nice and smooth. Um, some paints I find if they're thick, they don't spread very well. That wasn't the case with these. They were really nice to work with. Like I said, the only thing was some colors were a bit more difficult to um, go on top of other colors. So, but I was also being a little stingy with my paint <laughs> because the tubes are small and I didn't want to use up all my paint. That's just me. I need to get out of my own head. So I did find after when I stopped doing that, like trying to use very little paint, it did work better but with that being said a little paint goes a long way it's crazy how much a little bit of paint can cover so I don't know what else to say um, all I can say is if you have any questions then put them down below and I'll do my best to answer them and I will link the paints in the video with the discount code for you guys and that's running from the 28th of March till April the 4th and if you're looking for paints it's a great like I said is a great price for 24 colors like if you're wanting to try something like to try to do a painting like but you're not sure how if you're going to like it. I mean $21 or $22 is not a lot to spend on paints and with the discount code $10.99 so $11 is like coffee <laughs> for depending on where you go. If it's Starbucks it's a lot probably two coffees. If you go to something like Tim Hortons then it's your coffee for the week maybe. So not a bad deal at all. So I hope you give them a try and let me know your thoughts. If you get them, let me know what you think about them. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Bye.